So I just want to talk a little bit about how an amortization table works. Uh, there will be uh, some times where you will need to use an amortization table. For example, uh, if you're paying off a loan um, with regular monthly payments and you want to know how much of a balance is owing partway through the term, uh, it might be just easiest to calculate that using an amortization table. So, so how it works is we've got a certain amount of interest that's paid on the original balance and you've also got a set payment. And how this breaks down right here is that the interest is always calculated on the balance and that interest is always paid first. So for example, this 12,000, okay? So this $12,000 right here is um, it's it's paid <coughs> monthly and in this question it's 5%, um, you know, you know and it's uh, paid per month. So 5% as a decimal divided by 12 is your your actual um, percentage per month, that's the little i. And so what you do is you take your 12,000 and you multiply it by the monthly interest rate that you would get applied and it becomes 50 bucks. So that's why that 50 is there. And this right now, you go 350 minus the interest and whatever's left over gets applied to the principal. And see that it gets taken off of 12,000. So now at the end of this payment, this is what you're left with. Okay? So it's 12,000 times the interest rate for that period and that amount of money gets taken off your, your payment. Now, this is where it starts to get interesting. The next line here, now this interest rate um, gets actually gets charged on what's remaining. So now it's 11,700 because we have 300 taken off times 0 0.05 over 12 and that is 4875. So now that's the interest that's owed on this period and there it is right there. It shows up right there. That's the interest. This number comes from the 350 minus the interest on the remaining balance which gives you your amount that actually gets taken off of the principal now to leave you with this one. So when you're doing an amortization table always take the percent of interest off of the uh, balance that remains and then that amount of money comes off your payment first and whatever's left over gets applied to the principal. Always happens that way. The interest gets paid first, whatever's left over goes to principal. So you can see that after 10 or you know, 15 payments, or you know, just guessing, that your 350, right, you're going to have very little um, money that you're going to owe because your balance is going to be quite a bit lower. So you may have, and again, I'm just guessing, but you may have 20 bucks of interest. So that means that 330 goes to your principal. So that's sort of, that's how the amortization table works.